So now that we've done our work on just being able to do the longitude time differences, I know I just wanted to talk to you about time zones. So as the Earth rotates, different parts of the globe are experiencing day and night, which we, we already know this. So to simplify this, the Earth is divided into time zones. And we know this because we've been looking at it for this whole topic. So the prime meridian is the time of Greenwich, is the Greenwich meridian, the Greenwich mean time, or it's been now renamed Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC. So time zones are then stated in the number of hours they are ahead or behind Greenwich Meridian Time. All places that are east are ahead of Greenwich Meridian Time, so I just like to look at it like a number line. It's the easiest way to remember. With Greenwich being here in the middle, everything this side, time is ahead, and everything the other way, time is behind just like our normal number line. So Eastern Standard Time is Greenwich Meridian plus 10. That's what we are on here, Eastern Standard Time, meaning that Sydney is 10 hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. So when it's noon in Greenwich, in Eastern Standard Time, it's 10 p.m. because we are 10 hours further ahead. So the international date line is 12 hours ahead of Greenwich. So if we imagine the world being here, England being up here, here is the Greenwich Meridian. On the other side of the world, all the way around here, is the international date line. Because we can only go 12 hours ahead this way and 12 hours behind the other way. And you all have seen a picture. Once you cross the international date line, the day changes on either side of that. And you know that that line isn't a straight longitude line because it has to go through some countries. So it's a zigzagging line. And you might want to get out a globe of the world to just double check that. Okay, so when we're looking at all our places on the Earth, we're all looking at and comparing it with Greenwich Mean Time. So let's have a look at some examples using this. When it's noon in Greenwich, what is the local time in Cairo, which is 31 degrees east? So if I think about my number line, here is Greenwich, here is zero, and Cairo is 31 degrees east. So we know that when time moves in this direction, we are adding time on. So the first thing we need to know is our time differences, which is what we've just been looking at in the previous video. So the time difference has got to be 31 degrees, because it's going from 0 to 31, times by 4, which we know what to do, and which gives us 124 minutes. And we know that when we get this answer, we're going to divide it by 60 to know that it's 2 hours and 4 minutes. So the time, if it's noon in Greenwich, so that's 12, we're going to add on 2 hours and 4 minutes. And so the time must be 2.04 p.m. So that's putting now everything together. So if we look now at Vancouver, uh, we're not interested in this part. It's 123 degrees west. So if we think about over here, 123 degrees west. So we know that we are going to be subtracting time. So we need to find our time difference. So our time difference has to be 123. Going to times it by 4 and divide by 60 to change it into hours and minutes. And what we end up with is 8 hours and 12 minutes. And so if it's noon, you can put that into your calculators. If you do 12 and 0, 0 and subtract 8 hours and 12 minutes and what your calculator will give you will give you 348 and that has to be AM because time has gone backwards. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky. You kind of have to really think about what's going on but you have a calculator and your calculator will help you do everything. So let's have a look at our next example. Let me try and find some more colours because these colours are boring. So when it's 9pm in Singapore, and Singapore, and we're only interested in where it is, comparison to Greenwich is here, and it is at 104 degrees east, 104. So that's where Singapore is. And first of all, we're looking at where Tokyo is. So Tokyo we know is further east, so that's at 140 degrees east. So we know then that the first thing we have to do is we need to find out that longitude difference, which is what we were doing in the first video. 
So they're on the same side, so that means I must subtract them. So when I subtract them, I get an answer of 36 degrees. So now I need to work out the time difference. And you can see all these questions are beginning to blur into one because we're doing the same thing every time. 36 times by 4, divide by 60. And I get 2 hours and 24 minutes. Now we know it's 9 p.m. in Singapore. And we know we're going further east, so we're going to be adding on time because we're moving in an easterly direction. So the time has to be 9 p.m. plus 2 hours and 24 minutes. And so if I do that, the answer I get is 11.24 p.m. So nothing that's really too difficult. So to do part B, what we've got now is Bombay is at 73 degrees east. So here is Bombay sitting here at 73 degrees east. So first of all, we need to do the longitude difference. Longitude difference. And they're on the same side, so we know we are subtracting. And, oops, so 104 minus 73 that should be, and that gives you 31. So we now then find our time difference. So we know that's 31 times 4 divided by 60. And that gives me 2 hours and 4 minutes. So now compared to Singapore, we're going in a westerly direction, which means I'm subtracting time. So my time is going to be 9 p.m. take away 2 hours and 4 minutes. And we do this on our calculator and we get 6 56 p.m. Okay, bit of a leap of faith, but hopefully you're getting the idea and you can see that we're just doing the same thing every single time. So the time in New York, USA is five hours behind universal um, coordinated time, or coordinated universal time. What is the time in New York when it is 3 p.m. in London? So if we think about this one, Let's have a look at it. That's zero, it's five hours behind, so we're taking away five hours. So if it's 3 p.m. in London, if I subtract five hours, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get that it must be at 10 a.m. in New York time, New York. And the next part says, what meridian of longitude does it pass through? So, if we want to think about that, we are five hours behind and we know that every degree, every 15 degrees is one hour. So, if we're five hours behind, that's going to be five times 15 because it's every degree is one hour from the very first video. And so, if we do that, we get an answer of 75 degrees. And we know because it's in this direction, it must be a westerly direction. So it is 75 degrees west. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Los Angeles, USA, in Los Angeles, is 119 degrees west. A tennis match is being played at 2 p.m. on Tuesday. Dave is watching the match live in TV in Sydney, which is 151 degrees east. What is the day and time in Sydney? So the first thing I always do is my number line so I can see what's going on. So I know LA is over here at 119 degrees west, Greenwich Meridian somewhere, and Sydney is 151 degrees east. So the first thing is we need to know our longitude difference. So longitude, which is what we've been doing every time. So they're on either side. So what we need to do is we're going to add them. So I get 270 degrees. And now I do my time difference, so I'm going to do it exactly the same. So we're not being scared about anything, and I promise you it's always going to work out. 270 times 4, and we're going to divide that answer by 60. And what you end up with is 18 hours. So. It's 2 p.m. Tuesday, 
So that's 2 p.m. Tuesday. And because we're going from LA to Sydney, we know that we are adding on time. So we're going to add on 18 hours. So if it's 2 p.m. Tuesday, obviously by adding 12 hours initially, 2 p.m. Tuesday becomes 2 a.m. Wednesday plus another four hours which makes it 8 a.m. Wednesday. I think that should be six hours. 18, 12 to eight, yep. Yeah. So it's 8 a.m. Wednesday. So looking at the very last one, when it's 9 p.m. in Mumbai, India, what is the local time in Jakarta, Indonesia? So once again, drawing up my line, universe coordinated time, uh, 73 degrees east and that is India and Jakarta is 107 whoops 106 degrees east so now let's look at our longitude difference longitude difference so they're on the same side which we know that we subtract and we get 33 degrees we need our time difference so if I do our time difference so we get um, 33 times 4 divided by 60 and we know that is 2 hours and 12 minutes. So our time, so we're going from Mumbai, India and we know, want to know what the time is in Jakarta so that means we're adding on time. So it's 9pm and we're going to add on 2 hours and 12 minutes. And the answer we get is 11, 12 p.m. Have a go at this work. You shouldn't have any trouble because you do have these videos to go back over and you have your notes. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, you know where to find me.